When we pray, it's important that we remember that our prayer is based on the authority of the word. Our prayer is based on the authority of the word. The authority of the word and the revelation and the insight that the word provides. Uh, uh, let me give you an example. In, in a court of law, it's called a court of law, not a court of emotions. A court of law. Um, when you get to the court, you come up with, I mean, lawyers spend many, many years and in fact all their life studying the law. Because that is the only thing you can use to bring an argument in that court. You know, is what you use in bringing an argument in that court. When we pray, it's like us going to court. Who understands that? It's like us going to court and we have a document. Oh, praise God. We have an authority. We have something that is dependable. Our prayer is effective because it's based on the Word of God. It's based on the authority of the Word of God. And the Word of God is infallible. The Word of God is infallible. The Word of God is, 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 is holy. We talk about the integrity of the Word of God. You know, it says this is the confidence that we have. Uh, when you read in John chapter 15, you read all through, you see that um, Jesus said, if my word abide in you, and maybe we should, we should find that. John chapter 15, so I can, I can give you the exact quote. All right, it says, if ye abide in me, and my words abide in you. Look at that. If ye abide in me, and my words, say words, and my words abide in you. He says, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto thee. Look at, look at the power of the word of God in our prayer. He says, if you abide in me, and my word abide in you. That means when the word of God comes to you, one of the results of the revelation of the word is prayer. Is prayer. As you as the revelation of the word is revealed to you and is unfolded in your spirit, all of a sudden you're praying. You're praying. You're praying. Uh, let me give you an example. You just imagine what we learned last Sunday, that angels are listening in when we, when we praise and when we worship. And that when they listen, they listen to take out instructions. You know, that's, that knowledge, what does that result in? Suddenly you're praying prayers of thanksgiving. You're praying prayers of worship. Then as you pray and you are, because we'll get to the third thing now, you are stirred by the Spirit. You begin to speak words now. So that knowledge didn't just come to, so that you can have knowledge. That knowledge would invariably find its manifestation in prayer. Come on, amen. You know, so if you claim to have an understanding of the Word of God that does not result in an effective prayer life, then we come into question the revelation that you had. He says, if my word abide in, me, in you, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, he says, you will ask. You will ask. So an increase of the word in you will result in what? An increase of you praying. An increase of you praying.